Okay, back in here now. So, what we're supposed to do now that we've collected all this stuff is we go ahead and insert these little jewels into this portrait. And then it'll show us a little glimmer. So, there's Alexia's boob, and Homeboy's finger, and then the ear. And then we get a door. Puzzle solving! Now, yeah, that's about what I thought. Here, you know what? You can have it. The rest get bowgun. It was just he was too close for me to decide before I decided I wanted to turn around. As for now, I'm like, hey, let's use that bowgun. Chris is a fucking tart. Do you see? Oh my god. Oh, I don't see! I hate it. It's like, you want to shoot the guy that's about to touch you? No. Let me focus on this other guy. I decided I didn't need a knife because we had plenty of bowgun ammo. You don't want to... Okay, so all those just decide to fly through you. Really? Really? Okay! That was bullshit. And you all know it. Like, Chris is aiming right at him, and it's just like, yeah, by the way, I cannot be hit. I am special. And it, that made me mad. A little bit. Alright, we've gotten everything. It looks like it. So, our first stop will be right here instead. Because I know where this is. I know where they all are, really. It's just I'm trying to think. What we want to do is grab all this shit because they decided to separate the ink ribbon, the typewriter, and the deposit box for this area. Hi, what's this? A key! Well, that's pretty useful. I'd probably. Yeah, okay, I know what that's for. Because remember, we kept seeing a thing that's like, by the way, Jackass, you kind of need a, a key to open this door? Well, it's for that door. And it may seem kind of trivial and useless because it's like, well, what do we need it for? We can just go around. Um, it's just a convenience, really. And the idea that they give it to you right now is kind of like a convenience because you're only going to use it one time and that's it? But it's still nice, is pretty much what it is. I want to go in here. This is where I want to go next. It's where I want to go! We're going to go where I say we go! That's right, it's empty. I didn't just see a glimmer, right? I am seeing a glimmer. It's right here. It's on the seat. He's talking about the kids. How sweet. You wanna grab that stuff? I thought there was red herb somewhere around here. It's not looking like it. Alright, so what we wanna do real quick is go up here, unlock that door. And if you're curious, bada bam. So right there is where tentacles were, and then right here is the deposit box. So that's fun. But we wanna go down here real quick. And I'm trying to think if there's anything super... Well, I see handgun bullets. But I don't have the room for that right now. I can come back and get it later, but we need to put priority on that thing right there. Push the button! Grab it! That's great. Now let's go and hit up that deposit box. Because there's a secret in that room, too. I want to show you the secret and then make trip back, grab the hammer gun bullets, and see if there's anything else we're missing. Don't think so, but it doesn't hurt to check. That's the wrong... Wait, is that right or wrong? Yeah, that's right. I thought I was going wrong, but I was going right. I was going straight, but it was right. Do you get it? 
Okay, good. Anyway, if we want to push this thing, push out of Chris. And then look, it's another reference to the Resident Evil 1 game. Go ahead, put it down, Chris. Hooray! Now we can take it back. And let me organize this. It'll it doesn't as long as you did that, it's fine. You're you're good to go. Go ahead and put one of these away. All of our bullshit. Put that down an extra spot because we're well an extra two spots. It's looking like do that. Oh, so much organizing. But I mean, I feel like at least maybe this exercise is a point of how you can manage the game because I've managed it in some way, shape, or form or another. I will admit it's by no means probably the best example. There is bound to be better out there than me. But I, I'm okay with this project, is what I'm trying to get across. What else do we need? I think we're good. We will use the assault rifle, I promise. <laughs> I mean, since we can't get the Magnum, we don't really have a fucking choice. I'm very mad about that. But I suppose it's irony. Ah, flame rounds, that's good. Flame rounds is good. Something else? Grenade rounds, that's good too. I think the grenade launcher is probably going to have to be what we rely on. Because I'm not sure how else to do it. Thankfully, those were the two that weren't currently loaded. Pretty sure I didn't leave anything in here. What was that on the floor? Nothing? Okay. Okay, uh, I went ahead and grabbed the handgun ammo where we found that wing object. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Anyway, we don't need that anymore, so throw that away, and then what we want to do is we want to walk. I mean, it kind of doesn't matter which way we walk, but the point is we need to go, we need to turn off the power. Why do we need to turn off the power, you may ask? Because we actually need to get both of the tiger's eyes. And when you play with tiger eyes, it specifically says that it's electronically powered. That's your clue. That was a thing that I thought was really clever, because, you know, I didn't, like catch it at first and I was like oh I see you're smart because at some point it mentions that you can turn it on and off and I'm like well why would I ever want to turn it off well this is why you want to turn it off because it's going to be useful right the hell now let's go ahead and put away that handgun ammo real quick ba ba bam and then I think that's about everything I'm hoping so at least I'm trying to remember if there's any other sort of bullshit along the way because we're, we're almost at the fucking very, very end. Like, I know I've been, like, cluing at it and, like, kind of, like, nudging you that we're almost done. But, like, we're so close to the end that I have legitimately no idea if we're going to, like, when it's going to be like, by the way, you've blown your opportunity to hit a save uh, deposit box kind of thing. That's what I'm concerned about. Yeah, we want no, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. I'm stupid. Force of habit. Force of fucking habit. See the staircase? First thing you do. Let's go. Oh, it's so dark in here. But that's good. Because that means it worked. I'm also not entirely sure why you would assume to um, do this, but yeah. Shame I couldn't get those magnum rounds. I'm very sad without them. And the detonator, I think I already told you, was handgun ammo. Oh, shit! Hi. That didn't really happen the way I wanted it to. Well, come on. Might as well. At least for you two. The rest can get bowed. Yeah, I wasn't anticipating it. Yeah, I don't really like that. You know the part where I fucking shot you? Stupid game. Stupid fucking game. Come here. I fucking dare you. 
pulling some bullshit like that. Hell no. Oh yeah, look, a green herb. I didn't see that before. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like there's two of them, which is perfect timing, because that means I can fill myself back up. Right, at least we've still got plenty of ammo. <laughs> I mean, just, just my opinion. Now... Oh, see, that was what I was looking for. There we go. Now we're, now we're freely using the shotgun. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up real quick. Yeah, I didn't go inside these doors because there wasn't really a point in going in these doors yet. That was why I skimmed out on it. So what we do is... It's just like last time. Oh, okay, fine. Put the stupid thing in. Oh, I went in the wrong door. Oops. So I thought that one, it was going to be like, hey, you want the music thing? But no, it didn't. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Oh, well. Hey, by the way, where are you? Over here, that was what I wanted. So what, Chris just couldn't reach it and grab it? He had to close it first and then lock it and then be allowed permission? That's kind of really funny. But yeah, now you got this little throwback to their palace, their dollhouse. And, you know, that's pretty cool too. So they do uh, a lot of nice, neat little throwbacks that I am a fan of. And yes, this actually leads somewhere. This isn't just cosmetic effect, but it actually goes somewhere. It was probably easy for them to recycle the room and just reprogram it so that this cutscene loads a different area, but I still think it's really cool. Although thinking about it, it probably is two different program rooms as opposed to a recycled one, but it was still probably space efficient, all things considered. Yo, I see handgun ammo. The handgun ammo, Chris. That's not handgun ammo, it's like a fucking pot of turkey or something. There's handgun ammo. For that handgun I've been using ever so much. Anything else? It's not looking like, excuse me. You wanna walk around the chair, maybe? Okay, you go grab it. Now I don't like this screen because it's it's doing this, which screams, hey a guy's gonna jump through it, but no guy ever does. So I don't like that, because it just falsely builds you up, so you're expecting danger, but no danger happens. <laughs> like, either don't do it, or go all the way, because you can't just tease me like that. Anyway, we've got everything we need, for the most part. Now we just need to go back, grab the wings, put them on the dragonfly, and I think after that we're set to take on the final boss. Was it this door? No. It's this door. 